Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Dr. Arya's Vlogs. Today, I am going to discuss preliminary impressions in complete tension. So, what is an impression? It is a negative likeness made for the purpose of diagnosis, treatment planning and or the fabrication of a custom impression trait. And these are the examples of uh, nicely made preliminary impressions. The main objective of making preliminary impression is to fabricate a custom trait. So, fabrication of a custom trait is one of the main objective of making preliminary impression. Let's discuss some requirements of preliminary impressions. To obtain an accurate impression of the entire denture bearing surface of each jaw, to record the full extent of the sulcus, and to ensure all the anatomic landmarks are recorded. Okay, coming to the selection of material, the preliminary impressions are made with stock trays. An impression tray, uh, material with relatively high viscosity is selected allowing the material to compensate for any deficiencies in the tray and the preliminary impressions are generally over extent. And the following materials are commonly used. They are impression compound, irreversible hydrochloids and silicon putty. What is a tray? It is a receptacle or a device used to carry the impression material to the mouth, confine the material in a position to the surface to be recorded and control the impression material while it sets to form the impression. The tray selection, they are available in metal or plastic. Metal is preferred because of its rigidity. So, in this picture, it is clearly shows stock trays, metal perforated and non-perforated trays are available. Okay, these are the perforated trays and these are non-perforated stock trays. Okay, so edentulous stock trays made of stainless steel and non-perforated uh, trays are used with impression compound and the perforated tray, uh, trays are used with alginate. So a stock tray or prefabricated tray is used for preliminary impressions. Okay. So, in this picture, it clearly shows the tray size selection. Okay. So, the size of the trays are selected by using a divider or calipers. So, a divider or calipers is used for the uh, selection of tray size. So, the measurement of lower tray is made by placing the tips of the divider on the lingual aspect of the ridges just below the retromolar pad on the right and left sides. This must be comparable to the lingual flanges of the tray posteriorly. So this is the mandibular tray size selection. It is placing uh, by placing a divider lingual to the retromolar pad on either side of the mouth. And in this picture, this should conform to the lingual flange of the tray posteriorly. Okay, this is the size of the mandibular tray. So, in the upper jaw, the tips of the divider is placed in buccal vestibule in the tuberosity region and compared to tray flanges in the corresponding area. Okay, here the size of maxillary tray is selected by placing the divider buccal to the tuberosity on either side and it is comparing it on to the tray. So that is the selection of size of mandibular and maxillary trays for preliminary impression. Okay. And there must be 2 to 3 mm clearance required between tray and the tissues. And here it is the patient and operator positions for maxillary and mandibular impressions. This is the position of operator for making lower impression and this is for making maxillary 
or upper impressions. So, for the mandibular impressions, the patient position, head and neck are in line with the trunk, head is upright, occiput resting firmly on the headrest of the chair. Operator position, right front position, height of the chair, the patient's mouth should be in the level with the operator's shoulder. And here it is for maxillary impressions, that is head and neck are in line with the trunk, head is upright, occiputs resting firmly on the headrest of the chair and the operative position is right rear or rear position height of the chair is the patient's mouth should be in level with the operator's elbow okay okay coming to the mandibular preliminary impressions so the various materials used for taking preliminary impressions for complete denture are impression compound, irreversible hydrochloride impression materials and silicon patties. Okay. So, the first one is with impression compound. The patient is usually asked to use an astringent mouthwash to reduce the viscosity of the saliva. Non-perforated stock rates are used and it is inserted into the patient's mouth to confirm its extension. Okay. And the compound is placed in hot water which have uh, some 60 degree Celsius and it, it is needed to achieve uniform consistency without wrinkles or folds. And it is formed into a suitable size that is 1.5 cm in diameter rolled. And it is placed in the tray with enough bulk extending beyond the flanges such that there is no restriction in flow when pressed over the ridge. So, this roll is placed onto the tray. And the trough is intended in the compound with the finger to receive the crust of the alveolar ridge. So, here this troughing is done. And it should be deeper posteriorly and shallow anteriorly and molding should begin from midline and proceed distally. Okay. And it is again placed in hot water which is tempered and inserted onto the patient's mouth. And for insertion, the tray is first placed in the left side of the mouth at right angles to the final position and then rotated in clockwise manner to engage the right side after retracting the angle of the mouth on that side. So, for insertion, the tray is first placed in the left side of the mouth at right angles to the final position and then rotated in the clockwise manner to engage the right side after retracting the angle of mouth on that side. Okay. Once the tray is in position, the patient is instructed to slightly close the mouth and raise the tongue while vertical pressure is applied on the tray in the molar region. So, there is uh, the pressure is applied in the molar region and the cheeks are stretched to ensure that they are not trapped in the tray. Okay. And uh, the impression is evaluated for the extension, reproduction of anatomical landmarks, prey exposure and wrinkles or voids. So, this is the completed lower impression. So, that is about the impression compound. So, the next material used for making impre preliminary impressions so for the complete dentures are irreversible hydrochloride or alginate. Okay. Here, Alginate requires support from the tray because of its poor tear resistance and the tray should be extended if needed with modeling or boxing wax. A clearance of 2 to 3 mm is sufficient for alginates. And here for uh, irreversible hydrochloids, the perforated stock trays are used. Okay. And the powder and liquid are mixed to a slightly thicker consistency and loaded onto a 
perforated stock tray up to the border. A small quantity is placed on the retromyelohyoid area and labial vestibules to displace any air pockets and the impression is made. So this is the completed irreversible hydrochloride in preliminary impression. The tray is inserted and removed as described for impression compound. All elastic impressions should be removed in a snap. It is then rinsed in tap water, dried and evaluated for any deficiencies. The impression must be remade if any deficiencies exist. And it should be poured immediately. That is about the irreversible hydrochloride. And next one is impression with silicone putty. The procedure is similar to impression compound except that the material is supplied as a base and catalyst which is dispensed in equal quantities and needed. A non-perforated stock tray is used with a tray adhesive. So here the tray adhesive is used. The impression is removed in a snap. It is difficult to refine the impression but pouring can be delayed. Okay, so delayed pouring, uh, it is, can be performed. Okay. So, this is the completed mandibular putty impression. So, coming to the maxillary preliminary impressions. First one is with impression compound. Non-perforated stock tricks are used for taking the preliminary impressions using impression compound as we already said and the non-perforated stock tray is inserted into the patient's mouth to confirm its extension. The compound is placed in hot water that is 60 degrees Celsius and is needed to achieve uniform consistency without wrinkles or fold as we already said. Okay, And it is formed into a suitable size ball and placed over the center of the tray for mandibular impressions. Suitable size to roll and place due to the tray. And for the maxillary impressions, it is molded into the shape of a ball and placed in the center of the tray. And the compound is molded and spread to fill the tray in order to develop a trough to accommodate the rich crust. And this is best accomplished by molding the compound with both thumbs holding the tray from the rear end. So here it is the molding the compound with both thumbs. And for insertion, the tray should be held in, with the hand chip in the operator's right hand pointing towards the patient's right. And the operator uses index and middle finger of left hand to retract the upper lip and the tray is rotated in the mouth, into the mouth. Okay. So, the here it is tray inserted from the right side. But in the patient, uh, in the uh, for the mandibular impression, tray inserted from the left side. Okay. And the label free name is used as a gate to center the tray. The patient is instructed to slightly close the mouth while the upper lip is lifted upwards and forwards. Seat the tray. Anteriorly such that the alveolar process presses the compound and excess flows into the labial sulcus. And see the tray posteriorly until the impression contacts the ridge. Okay. So this is the material spread out evenly creating a trough in the ridge areas. The tray is rotated into the mouth. Here the tray is seated anteriorly. Here it is the final seating and this is the completed maxillary impression. Finally the impression is evaluated for extension, reproduction of anatomic landmarks, tray exposure and ring or voids. It can be refined if needed and poured within an hour. Okay, that is about the impression compound for making maxillary preliminary impression. Okay. Here the preliminary impression made using 
alginate. Okay, up maxillary preliminary impressions may be using alginate. Here in the picture, it clearly shows that the perforated stock trays are used for taking impressions. Okay, and the tray should be extended if needed with modeling or boxing wax. Wax can also be added into the vault area of the tray in case of high palatal vault. Clearance of 2 to 3 mm is sufficient for alginates. Posterior palatal seal area is wiped with gauze to remove any excess saliva. The powder and liquid are mixed to slightly thicker consistency and loaded onto a perforated stock tray up to the border. A small quantity is placed onto the palatal vault and buccal residue. And the tray is inserted as described for impression compound and as the material sets, the patient is instructed to keep eyes open, relax, breathe through the nose and bend the head down a little to prevent impression from running down the throat. All elastic impressions should be removed in a snap. It is rinsed in tap water, dried and then evaluated for any deficiencies. The impression must be remade if any deficiencies exist and it should be poured immediately. This is the correction with modeling or utility wax. Here it is a completed irreversible hydrochloric impression. Okay. So coming to the last portion uh, in today's lecture that is impression with silicon putty. Procedure of manipulation, insertion and making an impression is similar to impression compound except that putty is supplied as a base and catalyst paste. The impression is removed in a snap. It is difficult to refine the impression but pouring can be delete. So this is the completed maxillary preliminary impression with silicon putty. That is all for today's lecture. In the next lecture, we will move on to preliminary cast in BT. Thanks for watching and please do share, like and subscribe for more videos.